Hey YouTube, so I using my YouTube money that I get for making videos and put that towards uh, buying a new gun. This is a Norica and it's made in Spain. Apparently they've been around 100 years. I've never ever owned this brand before and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information on this gun. It does 820 uh, feet per second. This one's called the Dream Hunter. So I've got it out of the box here. Oh, I see the hood got banged up. I'll get it out of the plastic and let's take a closer look. All right, it came with uh, instruction manual and I'm looking for the English section. Interesting. Oh, is this, how does this work? How am I supposed to read this? Oh, there it is. So each section has its own paragraph. So it looks like it has well, it says some Norica rifles have an adjustment screw for the trigger. Uh, it doesn't they look like this one does. Got a unique way to you open the side, put a pellet in. Okay, I understand. So, I like that. Made in Spain. So, I've never owned this brand before. I'm curious how it is. That seems kind of chintzy right there. I'm not impressed. That stuff's really, look at that, super thin. Wow. Interesting. The hood arrived. Not on the front sight. All right, I'm doing both hands. Let me fix that. So, I was able to get the hood to pop off. Remember how it was cockeyed? And put some nice scratches on my front sight. Awesome had the gun for a total of five minutes out of the box so i'll have to work on spreading this thing out to get it on the grooves but i'll do that later on i just want to shoot the thing um so this is the chamber here there we go oh look at all that oil in there that's good news clean that up good to see that it came with a lot of preservative That seems to function nicely. I like the way it's on top. You got a dovetail, built-in scope stop. That's really nice. Um, so you got your fiber optic sight. You've got windage and elevation adjustability. I like that. The front sight post, this appears to be metal. I'm pretty sure because it's scratched. Uh, fiber optic. Let's see how the sight picture looks. There we go. Oh, you get the idea. It's a very thin fiber optic front sight. There's a dime, so I may not, I, I may not mind this one at all. Shouldering the gun, it feels front heavy. Just, uh, just something I noticed right off the bat. Okay, guys. So let's go take some shots with it. I've already shot this thing about five times. I had to. This, I'm at 20 yards away. I've got some cans set up full of water. And I had to lower the elevation. It was shooting too high. So I'm going to be shooting Meister Coughlin's. These are 14 grain. It's pretty neat with this loading port. As you don't have uh, that guillotine sliding thing that goes over the end of the barrel. Or the breech, I guess. When you're cocking it. So the lever, you just pull it. There is no, nothing to, like a latch or anything. It just pulls down. Cocking effort is... Um, I don't know. It seems fine. The, um, it, the action feels gritty. This is a spring piston type gun, which I, I wanted. I didn't want uh, gas ram. So let's go take a shot. Oh, also, this also has an auto safety on the front of the trigger right here. And that's kind of annoying me, but I'll get used to it. The triggers, the trigger feels okay. So I'm going to shoot at the can on the left. Oh, I mean, it's hitting hard. <laughs> the kick, I mean, it jumps a bit. Pretty more so than like my RWS Model 34. Let's go for the next can.
Oh, that's great. Let me show you a close up of this. Uh, it's kind of neat, like a like trapdoor Springfield or something. So that's closed, and then you pull back on this lever. It exposes the end of the barrel. And then you take your pellet and it goes right in this hole. See that pressed home and then slide shut. I've been after shooting my B3-2, I got curious about under levers and I wanted to get one and there aren't a whole lot of under levers that are out, especially ones that aren't don't cost a fortune. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's go check out the damage. Right now, it seems like it's pretty accurate. Wow, check that out. <laughs> oh. oh, that's right. This one fell over first, then I shot it, and it's on its side, slid water in it. Oh, look at that. I'm hitting high. Wow, still hitting high. That's interesting. 20 yards. I think the sight's like maxed out for... Well, that one hit more in the center. All right, let's uh, let's set up some silhouettes and see how it does. All right, so I've got four Ram silhouettes set up at 20 yards, and two the ends of two pop cans facing me. They're lying down. Shoot off the rest and see how I do here. Man, that smacks them. <laughs> oh, missed. I'd say the loading process is a tiny bit more cumbersome than a brake barrel. But so far, I think that the trade-off for accuracy is worth it. <laughs> wow. And you, uh, I haven't been shooting... Spring piston guns very much at all lately. I've been really focused on pneumatics, so. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> or a ricochet. Now this is how a, uh, like a first impression is supposed to go. You get the new gun and you take it out and you don't have to mess with it very much and you actually hit what you're shooting at <laughs> and it impresses you. Yeah, that's how things should be. Wow. Yeah, I'm liking it. Let's see if I can clean those pop cans or those cans off the end of the sawhorse. I can smell the oil burning off it. And I'm hoping a caulking mechanism smooths out with use because right now it feels very gritty. Wow. <laughs> oh. Seems to shoot really well with these Meister Kuglins. Uh, that was me. Check the sight, see if I can get it down any further. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like I can. There we go. So the screw actually clicks. It's indexed. That's pretty neat. So I did four more clicks down. Let's see how that does for me. <laughs> Maybe I should have left well enough alone, huh? There we go. So I just had to aim right on with it. Something I noticed with the loading port that's quite nice is like if you do drop your pellet, there's nowhere for it. It doesn't drop down into the recesses of the gun. That'll happen on my uh, Air King and the B3. I just want to just, it's flat right here. So there's really nowhere for it to go. So that's quite nice. So I just swapped out targets and put a white one up so I could see it better and dang, look at that. So there's a quarter iron sights at 20 yards and poor light. I can, I mean, 
some of these are whole, whole, whole. I mean, man, better light and more practice with the gun. This thing has a ton of potential. This is awesome. I mean, yeah, let's go take this inside where we can get a better look at it. So now that we've got it inside, take a look at the length difference between the Norica and a B3-2. The Norica is a pretty long gun. <laughs> All right, now that I'm back inside, I was able to get the hood back onto the site, no problem. Just used a pair of Allen wrenches as uh, levers, kind of like chopsticks or something. And just slides right in that groove. Pretty slick. So not a big deal if you end up knocking yours off. Something else I was looking at. Check out the rifling and the crown. It looks really well done. It definitely has some distinct grooves and lands in it. I think this gun has a ton of potential. So overall, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a nice gun. And the bluing is, is really uh, deep on it. I mean, it looks like a quality piece. The stock, I think it's sort of been nicer with the wood stock. Maybe it would dampen the vibration. After I shot it for quite a bit, I was getting used to it, and and it, you know, it, it's got a hop to it, and it, um, typical Springer. I'm hoping it smooths out, but I'm wondering if a wood stock would have uh, dampened that a bit more than this plastic one. But uh, you know, the stock it's it's grippy. It's not it's not a slippery type of a uh, uh, material, so that's a good thing. And you know, and there's a lot to be said for the uh, for the plastic or synthetic stock, whatever you want to call it, because you drop it, um, it just doesn't tend to look. It, it handles drops and getting banged around a lot better than wood doesn't bring a tear to your eye <laughs> so and yeah i like that rubber so that's nice yeah overall i'm after i saw that last group i'm pretty happy i got it